Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on The Young and the Restless is Thursday, October 26, 2023. Sally counsels Adam, Sharon weighs in on Nick's quandary, and Nikki and Victor disagree. Sharon asks Nick whether he spoke to Victor at Crimson Lights. Did he take a turn for the worst? Nick sneers as his father takes on the job of a lifetime. We've been duped. Duped. Every one of us. Sharon's jaw drops open. It was all a lie. Nick claims his father was laying a trap for whichever of his children would use his so-called weakness. Sharon believes that is a terrible thing to do to family. Nick recognizes it as straight out of the Victor Newman playbook. He feels foolish for believing him. Sharon observes that he was attempting to be a nice son. Nick is perplexed as to why his father brought Adam back to the company merely to try to establish his disloyalty. I'm sick of it. He complains about Adam getting 500 chances. Enough is enough. Sharon mentions Victor's feelings for Adam. Nick is baffled as to why. Sharon questions whether it really matters why. Maybe he really thought that Adam was genuine and sincere when he promised to change, and he just wants to give him another chance. If that were the case, Nick believes his father would have already worked out all he needed to know. What if Adam isn't Victor's target? Sharon wonders. He already suspects Adam. Nick is safe, leaving Victoria. Nick shakes his head and says, no way. Sharon believes he is doubting her allegiance and is simply waiting for her to act. Nikki tells Victor at the ranch that she is relieved Nick knows the truth. Victor grumbles that he wanted to tell him at his leisure. Nikki points out that their son has worked it out already. She wishes to inform Victoria and put an end to everything, but Victor insists on more time. He wants to know what the hell he wants to know. Victoria, according to Nikki, would never be disloyal. That, according to Victor, remains to be seen. He only trusts Nikki and Nicholas right now. They debate whether Victoria has ulterior motivations. Nikki claims she has often demonstrated her loyalty. Why does he elevate her to the same level as Adam? Please tell Victoria the truth and put Adam back where he belongs, on the outside looking in. Victoria tells Nate in a bedroom that she's still thinking about Adam's worries that Victor's condition is being used against him. Nate reminds her that he is watching Adam's every move. If he does anything to take advantage of Victor, he'll make sure they know about it. Victoria expresses gratitude for his assistance. She feels tugged in a million different directions, so having someone like him in her corner is beneficial. I'm really worried about my father right now. She reiterates that he is not himself. They need to get him the best treatment possible, and she needs to be business savvy. If this becomes public, it might have a detrimental influence on Newman, both inside and outside of the organization. She wants to get things started by bringing in doctors to conduct tests. Nate appears skeptical. He's betting that her father will not comply. She'll need to devise a strategy, and the trick will be convincing Victor to go along with it. Sally remembers back to Nick breaking up with her over Adam at the club bar. Then Adam appears, Sally. Isn't it over for you and Nick? He apologizes. It's fine, Sally says. Adam believes he has once again wrecked something for her. I'll leave you alone. Adam, Sally says to him. Do not go. She assures Adam that her and Nick's relationship is not finished. He just won't talk about it because he's hurt. It would be simple to blame Adam for everything, yet he was simply expressing his feelings. I think the kiss confused us both. Adam suspects that despite her desire for Nick, he was simply bulldozing his way through. Even when he has noble intentions, he always ends up being a trigger for ill luck. With you, with my father. Sally requests that he inform her of what is going on. I think I've finally driven my father over the edge, Adam says. Sally receives an update from Adam on Victor's unusual conduct. He assumed Victoria was simply attempting to have him declared incompetent, but then he began to see things. He tells her about the strange painting and how it all started when he was forced out of Newman. Sally considers that a leap. Adam is not convinced. 
He's failed him every time he's given him a chance, and this latest failure must have pushed him over the line. Sally doesn't see the connection because he has changed. Adam informs her that his father must have recognized him. Everything was a ruse to receive his just rewards. So, you lied to everyone? Sally inquires. You deceive me. Without catharsis, there is no redemption. None, Adam responds. Just retaliation. It's as simple as that. Sally believes he duped everyone. You fooled me. Adam sincerely apologizes, but he felt compelled to punish them all, and what better way to do so than from within? She would have attempted to persuade him out of it if he had told her what he was up to. The irony is that he got his revenge. He pushed his father over the edge, saying, I feel sick about it. Victoria tells Nate in bed that she was lying there contemplating what it would have been like to be born into a regular family. Nate mocks her, asking if she wants a TV family. Victoria claims that it would be straightforward. Everyone would be able to go to work and do something meaningful. Is that what you want? Nate inquires. Victoria chuckles and says, No. But she wishes her father wasn't her boss or business partner, so they could talk about something other than work, and she could ask how he's feeling without him worried she's attempting to dethrone him. It often feels like they're a royal family waiting for the king to die so the children can battle for the throne. She doesn't want her father to die, and she's not sure she wants the throne right now. Nick stands up for Victoria at Crimson Lights. Sharon is nevertheless aware that Victor does not completely trust her. Nick believes it is about Nate. Sharon warns him that he is beginning to sound paranoid. Nick should be concentrating solely on Kirsten. Sharon knows why he feels compelled to intervene. Nick believes that Dad's disappointment with Adam is affecting the rest of them. I have no idea how it's going to play out this time. Nick feels compelled to tell Victoria the truth. Sharon isn't convinced. If she discovers he's been putting her through this test, it might be the end of their relationship. Nick still does not believe he has a choice. Victor tells Nikki at the ranch that she must trust him. He still has one more piece of the puzzle to complete. And what is that? She sighs. Victor says, you'll see. Nikki wants more information, but Victor does not want to put her in another uncomfortable situation. She believes he resents her for forcing him to tell Nick the truth. Victor strongly denies it. He must do things his way. The stakes are really high. Nikki tells him that doing things his way has cost him everyone he cares about. This will not end well, you can trust me on that much. She walks away with that. Sally tells Adam he's a mystery at the club bar. She wants to believe him, but a part of her wonders if he's really honest this time, or if he's simply trying to win her compassion. Adam is well aware that he has earned that distrust. He simply assumed that if anyone would give him the benefit of the doubt, it would be her. This time it is real. Oak, Sally decides. I trust you. Adam wonders if it's a leap of faith or if it comes from her heart. She can see the fear and remorse in his eyes. I have decided to trust you one more time. Adam can't express how much this means to him. Sally feels he should inform Victor, but Adam doesn't think his father is willing to cope with what's wrong with him, so he's unlikely to take responsibility for it. He admits that he contacted a doctor, but is unsure how to persuade Victor to speak with him. He may suspect it's another trick, but he'll have to take the risk. Because, honestly, I don't know what else to do. Sally proposes that Adam discuss it with his family. Victor's three children present a unified front. Adam tried it, but Nick ridiculed the notion, and he and Victoria can barely handle being in the same room together. Sally encourages him to try again and tells his siblings that they must work together for their father's sake. Adam admires her, but she's lost sight of the big thing between him and Nick. Sally tells him that this is far greater than that and asks him to arrange a meeting for the three of them. Nick praises Sharon for listening at Crimson Lights. He's been there for her too many times, she claims. They both agree that it's good to still be friends after all these years. Nate tells Victoria she can stay in the bedroom. Tomorrow is a huge day for her. Her phone starts to ring. Nick here. He informs her that he needs to speak with her about Dad. 
Victoria believes she has persuaded him to speak with someone. She'll let it go if they don't discover anything. Nick needs to tell her something, and it should be done in person. Victoria accepts his invitation to meet him at society. She disconnects and informs Nate that whatever it is, it appears to be urgent. He expresses his willingness to assist her. Adam thanks Sally for the helpful advice in the club near the door. He's curious about this new Adam. Sally believes he is still figuring it out, but that he is making good progress. They hold hands. Adam glances up at the staircase and says, I guess this is good night. Sally nods and says, Good night. She starts up the steps, but stops to watch him walk away. Victoria wants Nick to tell her what's going on at society. Nick assures her that their father is Oak. He was deceiving. Everything we believed we witnessed, everything we thought he was going through, was a ruse to test our commitment. Victoria exclaims, No, that can't be, and inquires as to how he found out. Victor, Nick claims, told him once he learned out the scheme, he's been playing us. Nate is still in his bedroom when he receives a phone call from Victor, who says he has to see him immediately away at the ranch, adding, and don't tell anyone where you're going. Nate agrees, but he wants to know what's going on. Victor goes on to explain, they think I don't know what's going on, but I do happen to know what's going on. Nate inquires, who are they? Victor is unable to speak about it, and informs Nate that he is the only one he can trust. Nate promises to be there shortly. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.